Hey guys, welcome to Let's Go Fishing TV. My name is Mike McFadden. You may know me as Mud Guru, formerly community manager with EA Madden NFL. This is my next adventure in life. Talk about passion. We're gonna go back to the original passion of my life. Growing up in Canton, Ohio, two things were very important. Fishing and football. I grew up on Lake Cable near Canton, Ohio, learning how to catch Pike, bass, walleye, all from the confines of a very humble aluminum boat and a six horsepower Evan Rude. My grandfather was a boxer and a volunteer fire chief and was basically who got me into fishing, taught me everything I knew, set me up completely. I was catching four pound, five pound bass when I was 11, 12 years old. And, you know, basically, I got over the cold. Turned 17, 18 years old, and as soon as I could get out of Ohio, I did that. We moved down to Florida where the fishing landscape completely changed. You know, when you're fishing for bass in Ohio, there's a lot of technique and a lot of different uh, gear you use. But when you come to Florida and you're catching 100 pound plus fish, things kind of change. The gear changes, the knots that you have to know change, the bimini twist, the non-slip mono loop, the improved Berkeley, okay? The granny knot that you tied in Ohio for that little bass is not gonna work down here learning new techniques, learning new styles, opening my mind to different horizons, uh, and it just was amazing. The world of saltwater fishing is absolutely unbelievable. I cannot wait to take you guys on this journey with me. Uh, some of my fishing experience here, mostly centered around Brevard County and Sebastian Inlet. That is my home inlet. Been fishing these waters for over 25 years, catching inshore and offshore alike. Everything from speckled sea trout to sailfish offshore. We're gonna bring some of that excitement to you guys. A little bit more on my fishing history. I was actually a mate on an offshore fishing business for a couple years at 26 foot world cat out of Sebastian Inlet. And mating on a charter business consists of everything from tying knots to rigging baits to taking care of the customers to making sure the spread is good. So a lot of knowledge really soaked in. I also worked at a bait shop. So an another knowledge gathering tool, being able to talk to a lot of different fishermen uh, up and down the coast, getting their reports, getting what they use, you know, I was able to soak in a lot of knowledge that way. Uh, but basically where I learned everything was my friend named Andy Krieger, what we call him Andi. Everybody has a nickname when you hand, hang out with Andi. But he basically, he taught me everything I know. We started on a 17 foot Key West, graduated all the way up to a 26 foot World Cat over the years and now fishing off of a 39 foot Invincible. A few of my other influences in the TV genre, I've always been watching TV shows, fishing TV shows, basically since I was a little kid in Ohio, from Hank Parker to Bill Dance, those were my guys in Ohio. And then you come down here in Florida and would watch Addictive Fishing, Spanish Fly with Jose Wahebe, uh, Flip Palette, The Mogan Man, those guys are all big influences on my saltwater fishing. So now I'm gonna try my hand into you know, a full-blown TV show. We're gonna get a series up for you guys. We're gonna work through all the challenges, whether it be location, whether it be weather, we're gonna try to get some athletes on the boat here. You know, we talk about football and fishing. We're gonna try to combine those two things here, guys. No spoilers, but we might have some treats coming your way. I really appreciate all the support coming from the Madden community and all the new support from the fishing community. Guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty of videos coming your way. Don't miss them, turn on those notifications, and as always, be a positive force for good.